Hi guys, this is Bilal. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to solve a problem regarding an array in which we are going to add an element in an array by preserving the originally stored values in that array. So let's start with our primary libraries. Include iostream. And after that I am going to add another library. This is because I am going to generate random numbers for the array values. And int main. Now I am going to declare an array of integer data type. Suppose its size is 10. I'm just declared it I have just declared it and not assigned any values or not stored any value in it so I want five values to store in it not fully ten I want just five values to store in it so I declare a variable of size five okay so for input, let's start with for loop. And I less than size. Okay, so array index is equal to random number. That's why we I included that library of CSTD lab. This modulo 10 means that it will generate a random number ranging between 0 to 10. So this is all for input. Uh, now for the output of that array i equal to 0 i less than size i plus plus it means the increment of 1. So see out array i just use that space for the discrimination or determine differentiation between the values okay that's it and now now i i want to add an element in this array you see five values are already stored in this array now i want to add another value and i do not want any of these values to be replaced by that value i want all these values to be present in this array after that addition so i say i will declare a variable named position it shows the index at which i am going to add my value so suppose i say i am going to add my new value at index 2 and that value will be minus 1 so for that we have to shift our values ranging from index 2 and so on one index ahead one index forward so i will start from the size I will start from the size right the size of the array and it will run up to the position the index where we are going to put our value with the increase with the decrement of one okay so it means we are going to shift our value of index 3 to index 4 index 4 to index 5 and index 5 to index 6 as i said earlier we are going to shift our values forward one index forward okay 
so we can write error index i is equal to array i minus one right so this is all for the shifting now after that shifting has happened i am going to declare let me write end line here it would be helpful and now i am going to print out my new array so after that shifting happens before that after that shifting is done assign that index means assign that index assign position is equal to the value we have specified means we are now storing that value on our that specified index position or you can say now i'm going to print out this changed array which we have in which we have added our new value int i is equal to zero and int in this case i will not write size because you see the size is initialized to five okay so this loop will run to up to five times means up to index four but now i have added another value and shifted all the other values one index forward so there is an addition of one index more so we will run this loop up to size plus one means one index forward so this is it and now i'm going to see out my array index and let's see say you can say tab here for the differentiation okay now i'm going to run it and you will see the difference I'm going to save it on the desktop with another name uh, so here you can see first this loop runs five times it stored one on zero index seven on one index four on two index zero on third index and nine on fourth index now i was changing my value on index two so there will be no change on index zero and index one same index zero is one and index one is seven is storing a value of seven you can say but i had stored minus one the value minus one on index two and see here the value minus one on index two is present here okay and then the four which was present on index two earlier now present now it is present on index three similarly zero is present at index four and nine is present at index five this is how you can add an element in an array without uh, without you can say replacing any of its already present values so you can do this for a large number of arrays uh, you see i can change the size to you say thousand and and i want to enter 990 random integers or random elements in it random values so let's run it Maybe it will take more time, but I will not sing you a song because I don't have a good voice. <laughs> so you see, this is how and index two will be changed there. Here, index two is changed to minus one, while above in our above case, before changing, index two was four. So this is it. I hope now you understand the problem. And Thanks for watching.